Hello guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to do a debugging with Blazor's WASM or WebAssembly template. So I have already created a Blazor project with the Blazor WebAssembly and individual users authentication and ASP.NET core hosted. So you can see all these three projects which are a result of creating the um, Blazor WASM application with um, ASP.NET core hosted. So what I am going to do is I am going to click uh, run this application and show you how the debugging process works. So this debugging process has actually changed a bit over the last one or two months. That's what I find. And after a lot of um, uh, research and a bit of a struggle, I could just uh, figure it out. So let's click on the run icon. Now the application is loaded. So what you will do is you will um, bring up the developer tools by clicking F12, F12 developer tools. And the console tab is there. So there is a debugging hotkey shift alt plus D when application has got focus. Okay. So don't worry about these uncaught um, DOM exceptions. So what I will do is I will just focus on one of these um, tabs one of these uh, navigation menus counter and then click on alt shift and d so alt shift alt and d so this alt shift and d brings me this to this tab unable to find debuggable browser tab so resolution so because i am using google chrome and it advises me to open win plus r and paste it over there and run it okay windows run dialog basically so i just copy this and run this uh, run command so windows logo plus r and then uh, remove everything there and control v paste and then click on enter and this will open another browser tab which is the debugger is enabled in that browser all right so again i'm going to repeat the same step so shift window shift and uh, i will just bring the f12 key here f12 tool developer tool and bring the console and it is telling me again shift alt plus d when the application has focus so i will just put focus again shift alt and d again Sometimes it doesn't happen in one go. So shift alt and D. Shift alt and D brings uh, this icon now. This tab is in inactive. So it opens the tab, Chrome debugger tab where it is debugging is in, in uh, enabled. So what you'll see here that I'll tell you what is the full process. So don't get discouraged by looking at this tab is inactive. So what you need to do is that apart from uh, the other thing top, which you already saw here also uh, within the sources, you have here above the WASM folder, there is a file. Okay. So file. Now this is actually opening our project. This is loaded our project source and there is a client and this is you know, running on the JavaScript, actually, all those file structure in the WASM application that we are familiar with or maybe familiar with. So I open this pages and then counter dot razor. And this is my increment count method within the counter component. And uh, I put a breakpoint over there. And what I am going to do is actually browse over here pause script execution now i'll come back to the original tab which is here and click on click me so as soon as I do that it comes up it pauses in this debugger okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll come over here and you have seen all this watch call stack before in debugging in visual studio so this uh, all right so what i'm going to do is resume script execution over here come back to the original tab click on click me and then come back over here in the debugging tab now you can see that the current count has got incremented to one all right so 
I have to repeat this process again if I wish to continue with the debugging. So I will click this uh, tab resume script execution, come back to the original tab, hit on the click me button and it is again paused in the debugger, come back to the debugging tab and then I can see that the current count value is now 2. Okay, And it should show me on the call stack also. So call stack is a stack of all the calls, you know, in that order for um, this to happen. But here you can see in the local window, you can see that current count has become two. So this is working and I will just leave after doing this process once again. So revising it once again, resume the script execution, come back to the original tab, click the button, counter button, pause in debugger and you can come here and just see that the current count has incremented to three. So this is now the process that uh, I find is the way to go for if you want to do the debugging in the JavaScript in the Chrome debugger itself, Chrome or Internet Edge. So hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please um, subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your friends.